Buongiorno! Ciao, ciao a tutti! How are you today? Such a beautiful day! The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and I have a lot of flowers. Today, my kitchen is full of colors and happiness. And I was thinking, hmm, today is a perfect day for a salad. Mm, salad, so good, so good. And um, there is a salad that I really like very much. It's kind of sweet and bitter, you know, it's crunchy and really is refreshing uh, when you eat it. And this is one of my favorite salads and it's indeed a Belga, Belgian diet. You know, it is so cute. There is red and white. Dee -dee 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 -dee. <laughs> no. So if you got it, this is good. If you, you can boil it and put it in the oven with prosciutto around, you can add it to some soups. We, you can also saute, treat it a little bit like radicchio because radicchio is the same, it's the same family, family, chicory. Okay, so this is the new salad. And then we are going to put some artichokes artichokes those are our, uh, artichokes in brine and olive oil so you know they're very cute and nice and then we use everything so like the leaves and the heart and everything and some sun dried tomatoes you know that i for a long time i call sun sun rice tomatoes sun rice tomatoes <laughs> Because I love sun and I love happiness and I love cooking and sharing with you this very easy, beautiful and a little bit unusual and colorful salad. Remember colors, colors in cooking are good and everything. So let's start. So we could take this, the Belgian onion and oil and then I cut it. I want to cut it like a little julienne, okay? So I would just do a little, you see? So nice. So like I know spaghetti salad. Okay, one. I will do that, and I want to leave it. Uh, I want to put it in a plate, just so. So it's a it's a cute, very nice presentation. Okay, just horizontal, and then because we like colors, so we're going to do the red one. So it's uh, red and green, red and green, red and green. Ta da ta da ta da ta da, and then sing. <laughs> Sing in your kitchen when you cook because it's fun. So you see, green and red, and then I will do the one, okay, and then I alternate. So I like to cut it very thin, and also the, the, all the part, the crunchy one, and uh, the uh, the tender one, they kind of alternate on your taste. So I do the other side, I want to do that, and then I finish with the red one. Voila! Okay, so this, so you see, it's nice. It's, it creates a little contrast for your salad. Okay, so now we are going to add some artichokes, the artichokes, so we cut it, same thing, we cut it as julienne. And then we just like, just casual, like, close your eyes. <laughs> No worry, don't think. I just put it on top, and they will, they will find the the right place by themselves, like this. Oh, okay, just, just, and then more. I like those uh, artichokes, you know. In a few weeks, we will have fresh artichokes. Oh, mamma mia, those will be good. But this will be good. And then, sun, rice. Tomatoes, okay, so of course if you buy sun-dried tomato, sun tomato in, uh, in olive oil, they are good to go. You cut it very thin, same thing as julienne, and then you put it on top, but if you buy, uh, buy sun-dried dry tomato, dried, no, you have to put it in some water, otherwise they are too thick, like, nah, 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 nah. they are too tough, so you don't want that. So you just put in some water. Okay, and then you can squeeze it out, squeeze the water out, and then cut it. Those are already cut it. I bought it already, they are the julienne, so they don't need, but I'll do extra cut because I want this little pearl of sun. Those are little pearls of sun. And then same thing, I put it on top of the salad, like that. Uh, so you have the tenderness of the, the, in the Belgian knife, and then, uh, 
you know, the artichokes and uh, the pearl of sun. Okay, so now what do we do, what do we need for this salad? Of course, we do need extra virgin olive oil. How much extra virgin olive oil? Between, I don't know, hmm, between 10 and 20 teaspoon or tablespoon or you know, just, just uh, use extra virgin olive oil in your cooking. Extra virgin olive oil is the best. Okay, so here I have my extra virgin olive oil. I just drizzle on top. Ta -da. And then I'm going to put salt. You know, I usually like to put salt like this, like from hand because it's fun, because it just goes all around your kitchen and then you do this over your shoulder. <laughs> and then voila! Look at this beautiful salad. Of course, you know, you can add to that if you want a little uh, lemon, you can spread your lemon, or balsamic vinegar also is good. You know, just uh, if you want to, to do a little vinaigrette before, but you know, I like it like this. I like to, to taste all these different flavors and uh, they come together with the, with the olive oil. So, voila! Salada di Indivia Belga. Ah, I'm so happy that I share with you this, uh, this recipe. Please be happy. Put colors in your kitchen, in your life, and in your cooking. And uh, I will see you soon. A big kiss. Ciao a tutti.